the day friends ah, i saw a user on facebook asking about a beard comb uh, that looked like a knife and check this out you could build one of these in tinkercad in no time first things first of course i want to name it beard comb and then the design looked like a pocket knife so if we stretch this out i'm going to make mine seven centimeters across and remember, it's just going to cut the shape of it using our Globe Forge laser cutter. I want my sides to be more rounded, so I'm going to change that to 64. I'm going to stretch it out so it goes to 25 millimeters thick. And then I'm going to bring out a little uh, cylinder to make a notch in this side. Once you group those, it'll be cut out, and you can see that's the shape of a pocket knife. I'm going to put a hole over here for the pin that attaches it. When you're using Tinkercad, if you hold down shift and grab one of these corners, it shrinks everything at once. And you need to decide how large the nut and bolts you're going to use for your knife are going to be. I'm choosing four millimeters and then you'll notice my grid is one millimeter so when I tap the arrow keys it moves one millimeter at a time until I'm happy. I'm gonna group those again and you can see I've now got the cutout shape for one side of my beard comb. Just because I can and it lets you see it I'm gonna duplicate and that would be the other side. So now that we've got our two sides let's duplicate again but this time I'm gonna do control D. I'm gonna nudge it up and I'm gonna use this to make the blade. I'm gonna click the sweet fit view to selection and I am going to ungroup this part and I'm going to ungroup it two times so I can reuse this notch to give us the location for where our comb part will be. There's my 64 sides so it's smooth. I'm going to stretch with the black handle so it only goes in one direction and I want to take out all of that for the comb piece. So now I'm just going to grab and group. So this is going to be the back of where the beard comb goes. I'm going to bring out a cylinder to create the teeth. Once again I want 64 sides. If you remember right, let's look at this from the corner. This piece was three millimeters thick. Just so it looks cool as we make it, I'm going to make this three millimeters thick. And now I'm going to take this side view and I'm going to make it into one beard comb tooth. I'm going to choose to make mine three millimeters thick. I'm going to squish it down until I'm totally happy. Let's try two millimeters thick. And then this is the amazing part of using Tinkercad. If I switch to this top center view to give you a good view of this, I can nudge it into place. So that'll be the first bristle. And then if I do control D, which is duplicate, and I just move with the arrow keys, so I'm tapping three clicks over. If I do control D again and again without touching anything else, it goes all the way across and makes my cool beard comb. I'm gonna grab these middle chunks, so I'm just touching them. And I'm gonna use the arrow key to nudge them up one. I'm gonna grab these and nudge them up one. And that gives it kind of a rounded edge. This one I'm just going to flat out delete. And let's see what it looks like when I group it. There's quite a bit of room for you to improve on this design. But hey, there you have it. A beard comb in Tinkercad that you could laser cut, put custom designs on, and all kinds of stuff. I've never used a beard comb, but hey, I saw the post on Facebook. Figured I'd try and build one. Have a great day, friends. If you found this useful, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button and click the notification bell if you want to know immediately when I make a new video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.